Hello everyone, and welcome back. Okay, so now we're talking about a screw dislocation. Last time edge dislocation, this time screw dislocation. Now, it's a little bit harder to visualize, but remember, these dislocations are all about spirals. In a perfect crystal, when we go like some pattern like four up, four over, four down, four to the left, um, yes, I should end up where I began. But sometimes that doesn't happen. Maybe I end up, you know, right here. In this case, though, we have to go three-dimensional. Because you can see, if you're looking at it, that here's the line I'm spiraling about. Our dislocation line is the line we're spiraling around. And in this case, when I go, let's say, I'm going to start right here because this is where it begins. I go, make sure I do this right. I'll do... Hmm. Yeah, I'll start right here. And I'll go three over. So one, two, three, three up, one, two, three, three over again, one, two, three, and then three down. One, two, and you can see that I would be ending behind it. I would be ending on this row back here, not in this plane right here. So beforehand, I just needed to take you know a step, an extra step to the right or an extra step to the left to get back to where I began. In this case, I actually have to take a step that is either in or out of the page if we're looking straight at our, oh, sorry, this is the wrong, if we're looking straight at our plane. So my dislocation line is out of the page or into the page, depending on how we're looking at it. Uh, based on how this one's turning, it would be into the page. And my burgers vector, which is the thing that connects where I began to where I ended, is also going to be going into or out of the page. So they are parallel this time. They are parallel. Now, it can be mixed. Okay, These kinds of dislocations can be mixed. It doesn't have to be one or the other. We can start as a screw dislocation and go all the way to an edge dislocation. And our burgers vector will be constant though. That's the interesting thing. Our burgers vector will be constant for this single type of mixed dislocation. Doesn't matter where it is, we're always gonna have the same burgers vector. At the beginning, it's gonna be taking a step that is parallel to our dislocation line because we have a screw dislocation. It's gonna take us from this first plane to the second plane that it ended on. And it gets much more complex in here, but at the end, where we have that same similar spiraling, but this time it's because I'm missing a step, so I go up three, over three, down three, and up three, over three, down three, yes, and over three again. Well, I messed up, I'm over here, I'm supposed to end here, so my burgers vector fixes that. And so because it's a mixed dislocation, because it's all the same dislocation, it'll have the same burgers vector. Okay, it will not change even as we're going through from a screw dislocation over here to an edge dislocation over here. Now, these are somewhat hard to visualize. But remember, dislocation line is what my mistake is spiraling around. All these dislocations are spirals. I count the number of positions I'm going in one direction. And I should end up at the same place if it's perfect. Once I've gone three up, three over, three down, three right, or four, 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 whatever it is. But in these cases, I don't. And so because of that, we have that dislocation, and that's where my burgers vector comes in. Now, here is a screenshot of a screw dislocation. Um, it's from a program which we don't really use in this class, um, but it's giving a little bit more of a 3D rendition of it. You can see maybe a bit easier how this plane of atoms it got pushed backwards over here. It got pushed backwards over here. And there is my burgers vector. Because if I was spiraling around, well, I would end right here. And the burgers vector would fix that. It would bring me back to where I began. Okay, so that's it for this time. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.